Hi friends this is third part of inline or live add edit delete mysql data by using angular javascript with php and in this part we will see how can we inline edit or update data by using angular javascript with php. In previous part we have already discussed how can we inline or live add or insert data into MySQL data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. So we have already make edit button, so when we have click on particular row edit button then this row data has been converted into text box and this edit and delete button must be converted into save or cancel button. So when we have click on save button then data will be edited and when we have click on cancel button then this text box row has been converted into plain text format. So for convert plain text data into text box we have go to index page angular javascript code and here we have write dollar scope dot show edit is equal to function with data argument. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot form data variable is equal to angular dot copy function and under this function we have write data variable. This function will copy data from this data argument and it will store under this dollar scope dot form data variable. And it will copy plain text data into text box by using get template function. Now we have to display template HTML code and under edit button code we have write ng click directive is equal to show edit function with data as argument. So when we have click on edit button then it will call show edit function. So here we have first refresh page and after this we have click on particular row edit button. After click on edit button then that row data has been converted into text box format and edit and delete button will replace with cancel button. And when we have click on cancel button then this text box row data has been converted into plain text row. So here we have write dollar scope dot reset is equal to function. This function will convert text box row into plain text on same format. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot form data is equal to blank array, it will convert text box row into plain text. Now we have go to edit template HTML code and under cancel button we have write ng click directive is equal to reset function, so when we have click on cancel button then it will called reset method. Here again we have refresh page and after this we have click on particular row edit button then row plain text data has been converted into text box field with save and cancel button. Now we have click on cancel button, after click on cancel button text box field row has been converted into plain text row. Now we want to write code for edit data. So here we have write dollar scope dot edit data is equal to function, this function will edit particular row data. Under this function we have write dollar http method with first option method set to post and url set to edit dot php. Here we have send post request to this edit.php page. In third option we have write data in which we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write dollar scope dot form data variable. 
In this variable we have store form data. After this we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot success variable is equal to true. This code will display success message on web page. Below this we have write dollar scope dot success message variable is equal to data dot message variable. Here we have a sign value to success message expression. After this we have write dollar scope dot fetch data function. This function will fetch data from MYSQL table and display on web page. Lastly for convert text box field into plain text. So here we have write dollar scope dot form data variable is equal to blank array. This code will convert text box field row into plain text. Now we have moved to write PHP code. So we have go to edit.php page and here we have write include statement with database connection.php. It will make database connection on this page. For receive data from Angular JavaScript function we have write dollar form data variable is equal to JSON decode function and under this function we have write file get contents function and under this function we have write PHP input stream. Here this file get contents function has been fetch form data from this PHP input stream in JSON string format and by using JSON decode function it will convert into PHP array object. After this we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with double colon first name key value get from dollar form data first name object. In second double colon last name key value get from dollar form data last name object and third double colon ID key value get from dollar form data ID object. So here we have store form data under this dollar data variable. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to update sample table set first name column value is equal to double colon first name, last name table column value is equal to double colon last name where id is equal to double colon id. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar message variable is equal to data edited. After this we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with message key value get from dollar message variable. Now we want to send this data to Angular JavaScript function, so we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar $output variable. This function will convert array to JSON string and send to Angular JavaScript function. Now we have go to index page and here in save button we have write ng click directive is equal to edit data function. So when we have click on this button then it will execute edit data function.
Friends first we have refresh page and now we can see sample table data on web page with edit and delete button. Now we want to edit this row data, so we have click on this row edit button. After click on this row edit button, row plain text has been converted into text box field and edit and delete button change to save and cancel button. Now we have make some change in first name and click on save button. After click on save button we have received data edited message on web page. So this way we can do inline or live edit or update of MYSQL table data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. Now in next part we will see how can we inline or live delete or remove of data using Angular JavaScript with PHP. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.